What's going on devs? Welcome back to our dev channel. In today's episode, we're gonna create an awesome loading animation using just HTML and CSS. Actually, it is a pretty easy thing to do. Basically, we create this element and then we add two effects. One increase the scale and another one make it rotate. Stay with me until the end and you will improve your web dev skills by doing this fun project. Hey, if you're new here and you want to increase your web dev skills, subscribe and click that little bell down below so you get notified every time I post a new video. Alright, let's start it really from the beginning. Okay, right now let's create this boilerplate. And down here, let's have the title. Okay, let's say awesome loading animation, HTML and CSS. Down below we need a link to connect our markup to our CSS. And now we want to create our markup. This one is going to be quite simple. First, we have this div load the screen. And inside this one, we have another one, okay, loading. And then we are going to have four spare, okay, let me duplicate this one. Each one of those is going to be one part of our element, okay? Let me use live server and go live. Let's see what we have so far. Looks like we have nothing. So let's create that using CSS. All right, let's make the magic happen, okay? Let's start with our CSS reset, margin zero and padding zero. And now we wanna grab the load screen, okay? Let's grab this div here and let's apply some sizes, okay? Height is gonna be 100 VH and the width is gonna be 100% of its parent, okay? Another thing, we need a color, let's pick a background color, ECF0F1, you can use the one you like the most. And for the position here, it's gonna be fixed. We want also put the content in the middle. Let's use display flex, align height and center, and justify content to put right in the middle. And now we're gonna grab the div inside this one, okay? Let's grab the, the loading and let's give it a width of 80 pixels, all right? And for the layout, this play is gonna be a flex and we also want the flex to be flex wrap, wrap, okay? I mean, have this here, flex wrap, wrap, and let's continue. We now are going to make the fun part of this project. Okay, let's create that main element. Okay, so let's grab the loading and spam. Let's give a size to our object. 30, uh, width is going to be 32 pixels. Height also 32. You can imagine it's going to be something square. For now, the background color is going to be orange. Just for now, we're going to change that later on. And let's put the apart applying some margin so margin for pixels okay now let me increase that one let me increase the size so you can see what we're doing all right and now we want to change the shape okay of this element we don't want four squares all right so let's grab this one the first one, load the span, and let's use the pseudo class nth child, okay? Let's select this one, the first one. And in here, let's make it round using body radius, okay? Let's apply 50%, top left and top right corners, okay? And also zero to the bottom right and 50% to the bottom left corner. And as you can see, we have this nice effect, all right? And now it's the time for us to change the color, okay? So let's come here, down here, and let's change the background color and let's pick a nice color. This one, E64. Add one, three, two, okay? Looks like nothing changed. We have this nice red color, all right? Let's also uh, change the transform origin. It's gonna be bottom, 
right, okay? That was quite simple, right? So we have three more to go. Let me select this one. Let's duplicate it. This one is going to be the second one. This one, the third one. And then the last one. Now we want to do the same to the following, okay? So let's start with this one. The zero is going to be on the bottom left, okay? Let's move to the third one and let's change the top right, okay? This one is going to be the zero. And the last one, the top left, okay? So top left is zero and yeah, nice. All right, as you can see, almost finished, great, this one. So let's change the color and then we're going to move to uh, animation, okay? This one is going to be blue. The third one here, let's pick a green color, all right? And moving to the last one, this one is going to be yellow. Looks like it's remember something, okay? All right, it's done. So let's move to animation. In this project, as I told you in the beginning, we're gonna have two main animations, okay? The first one is gonna be this one, a uh, scale. And this one, let's apply this 1.5 seconds. Also, it's gonna be linear and infinite. Yeah, we're talking about scale, but we don't have it yet. So let's create that, okay? Keyframes. All right, guess the name, it's up there scale okay as you can see and this is gonna be quite simple at 50 percent this is gonna transform okay we're gonna make it bigger let me type here transform scale and this is gonna increase to 1.2 okay as you can see it's working nice so let's apply some style and do the way we want All right, and now we want to change the position of our transformed elements, okay? This one, for example, is going to be top left. As you can see, it changed red. Let's go to the third one. As you remember, this one is, is going to be the top right. And this one, top left, okay? Yeah, now they are in the right position. Let's continue. Until now, we managed to create this scale animation, but it's a little boring, okay? There is no life in it, so let's make a animation delay. So they are, they're gonna be different, all right? This one, the third one, is gonna have a delay of 5 seconds, okay? As you can see, we're gonna give it life. And the second one is gonna have a delay of 1.5 seconds. All right, and now moving to the last one, this one is gonna be a delay of just one second, okay? So we are using the same scale, but we are using some delay in between them, okay? The next one, let's make the spinning. All right, devs, and now is the time. Let's make it spinning, okay? So let's come up here to the loading, and here let's have our animation let's apply give it the name rotate okay let's give it a time 1.5 seconds we can change this number later on it's gonna be linear and infinite okay i know we apply something to the animation but we don't have that yet so let's create that okay down below it add keyframes guess the name rotate and to transform let me finish here transform okay and this time we're gonna use a rotate we're gonna rotate that 306 degrees and yeah it's working but it's too fast okay let me try something else here like 2.5 seconds yeah, but it's too, too, too fast. Three seconds. Okay, nice. The page is loading and you are looking at the spinning thing. Okay, 
Looks like we did it. And congratulations, you did it. If you like it, you know what to do, subscribe and you always click that little bell down below. See you in the next video. Bye bye.